if you didn't know, today is National Barbecue Day, so it's only fitting that we take you to a barbecue joint. Atwood Highway Barbecue is located in South Milwaukee. It's been serving up Tennessee styled barbecue, and that is where we find Rod Burks in the kitchen smoking up some meat tonight. Hey, Rod. I want to introduce everybody at home to Dante Morehouse. Now, Dante is the owner of Atwood Highway Barbecue. You've only been open for a couple of months here. You do that Tennessee barbecue. Mm -hmm. Get into the success of what you guys have been having and what you do here. Oh, man, we do great things here. We do, we smoke, we smoke meats all day, every day. Uh, we smoke low and slow. We start off with a great, with a great brand. We start off with our Braveheart brand beef and with our great pork. And we, we try to bring Tennessee to South Milwaukee. And guess where it all starts? The smoker. Now check out the smoker we got here. We're gonna have, have photojournalist Andrew Triplett get in there. And get, look, at, nah, look at that. Now how hot does it get in there? About 275. 275. We keep it about 275. So what we're gonna be pulling out now? We're gonna pull out some uh, we're gonna pull out some brisket and we're gonna pull out some beef ribs. Okay, let's go ahead and brisket first. Brisket first. Okay. We'll pull that out. Always yeah. wrapped in butcher paper. Yes, yes, we indeed. Now, what does the butcher paper do? Oh, it keeps it nice and moist. You see that that sweat coming off that meat. Yeah, that means not, not everybody at home can smell this smoke. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All right, all right, all right. So let's let's, let's, let's cut it to some brisket first. Okay. Let's cut it. Let's do some brisket. Let's okay. unwrap them. Now, now, how long do you smoke this brisket? Ah, uh, this is about nine hours. Almost wrap it up like a Christmas present. Let's yes, get to right, it. Man. Meat. Look at that, man. Okay. So we so just wrap it up. Nine hours you smoke. You got what kind of? What goes into it? You smoke it for nine hours? Nine hours. We smoke it low and slow. We do about, uh, we do it on all hickory wood. Okay, let's so go. Let's go ahead and slice into it. Yes. Now, That's all nice, brave, hard beef. Yes, indeed it is. Black Angus. Now, do you put special seasoning on there, Dante? Or you yeah, yeah, but we don't, we don't go into the seasoning. So oh, we just keep that. We <laughs> that's keep a that secret, in right? We keep that in house. We play that up just like that there. And you got. The mac and cheese and the slaw, and you it's got the, it's got the corn. corn. There. Look at right. that beef brisket right there at home. Let's go. Let's get into yeah, the. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get, get into, into the beef corn. ribs now. Let's go into some beef ribs. All right. Now we're gonna cut these up. Now, how long you smoke the ribs? About nine, ten hours, too. Okay. We got some big boys here. Once again, this is a Braveheart product. Wow. Now that that's a rib. That's like a Flintstone rib almost, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that, man. Can I cut one? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Go ahead. Now we're going right between the bone. Right between the bone. Right between the bone. Yep. Hold it. Hold it tight. All there right. you go. She want to come off. She want to come off on you. She want to, that's okay. I couldn't get it the way I wanted it. <laughs> she want to come off. All right. So then we get that just beef, like that. Yes, indeed. That beef rib. There we go. And then we get some asparagus on there. Yep. And now we got, we got Chef G over here with asparagus. We got, now what goes in the asparagus here? Uh, just a little saute. A little garlic, a little salt and pepper. Give it some nice flavor. There you go. That beef rib is huge. Man. Now it's all about the plating, right? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. So we got the twice baked potato. Go through it all. We got twice baked potato. We got a we got the we got the Braveheart Angus beef rib. We got some asparagus. We got the Braveheart brisket. We got mac and cheese, coleslaw, and some corn. And we got a guy that can get it done. We and do. No we sauce. Been, and no sauce. You, his food is so good. You need no sauce. I tell you right here, me and Dante, we've been working in this kitchen for the last few hours, right, Dante? That's right, we work. I mean, it's hot back here, but we got some pretty good food. We're gonna kick it back to you, Shannon, in the studio. What do you think? Well, first of all, when I saw the meat falling off the bone, I understood what he meant when he said low and slow. And then when you said no sauce, is that a Tennessee thing, or you're just saying your meat is so good you don't need any sauce? Shannon wants to know, is it, the is it a Tennessee thing that there's no sauce on the, on the meat? No, it's an Atwood thing. It's, it's an Atwood thing. I'm ready for the Atwood thing, thing, man. Thing. <laughs> That's an Atwood. All right. Thanks, guys. Shannon, we'll you, you know you want later. me to bring one of these for you. I'll make it happen. Make it happen with the asparagus.